What's going on guys, Demon Asylum here. I'm going to be showing you all how to mod Krieg the Psycho for Borderlands 2. This will work on Xbox 360, PS3, and PC. I guess there's still a lot of people who either don't know how to do this or just don't have the latest version of the editor that allows them to do this. But I thought it would be appropriate and helpful for me to make this video for all those people and anybody else who wants to see this instead of trying to reply to everyone consistently, um, you know, talking through them through text because that gets very confusing for a lot of people. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you just how to use the editor and how to modify your save file. I'm not going to be showing you how to get your game save from your hard drive or how to get your Xbox 360 con file from your game save or how to put your game save back or for instance how to get your game save from your PS3, decrypt it, re-encrypt it and put it back on your hard drive. I'm not going to show you how to do any of that stuff. If you need to know how to do that stuff, over here on the left of the screen, I'll have an annotation to my video showing you how to do all that stuff for the Xbox game save and over here on the right of the screen, I'll have an annotation to a video showing you how to do all that stuff for the PS3 game save, how to get the saves out of your hard drives prepped to be put into the editor and how to uh, get them back on your hard drive after. So again, Xbox 360 on the left, PS3 on the right. I'll also have links to those videos in the description if you have annotations disabled. So once you have your game save file or just your save file in general, I have a con file here for Xbox. Um, you're gonna wanna obviously get this editor. I'll have a link to it in the description and it will come in a zip file. So you're going to need a program that allows you to extract that zip file. If you don't have one, I recommend getting WinRAR. That's what I'm using right now. It's free and I'll have a link to it in the description. Once you have that or another program that allows you to extract files, you're just gonna wanna right click on this zip file and choose extract here. You can then get rid of the zip file and you'll have a folder with the same exact name, BL2 Save Editor R155. Uh, the R stands for revision. You're just going to want to open up the folder and inside you're going to see a program called gibid.borderlands2.save edit. Go ahead and just double click it. You do not need to run it as an administrator. Once the program pops up, you'll see Gibbid's Borderlands 2 Save Editor Revision 155. First thing you're going to want to do is obviously choose open and uh, go to your desktop directory where your save file is and this is one of the most common errors and obviously one of the easiest errors to avoid when you click on the open button down here there'll be a little drop down box but it'll say PC save files by default meaning it's going to try and load a PC save file now obviously if I have an Xbox 360 con file here and it's trying to load a PC save file I'm gonna get an error because it's not going to work. They don't correspond correctly. Same deal if I try to put it to PS3 and load an Xbox 360 save file. It's going to uh, give me another error. So when you do this, you want to correspond your save file correctly with having it open that type of file. Xbox 360 save file, Xbox 360 save file. You're going to want to correspond them. And when you choose open, if you did it correctly, you won't get any errors. So the first thing you have here is the save slot and the platform. You're going to want to keep both of these the same. It's okay if your save slot number does not match up with your game save file number. We have a Krieg the Psycho class here. You can obviously do any class you want, but this is for Krieg the Psycho. <clears throat> we have your experience level and your experience points here. You can sync these with each other. For example, if you want to make yourself level 50 and sync your experience points with that, you just click sync. And if you want to put it to a certain experience amount, we'll just put some random numbers in here. You can sync that up with your level, and you'd have this much experience at level 24. Um, the highest level you can make yourself with it, uh, with everything working with it, is 61. And you're going to want to sync it, and you'll have this much experience. If you do sync a character like this to level 61, you're going to want to make sure you change this last number that's a 6 to a 3. If you don't, when you try to load up your character, it'll give you a message telling you that you can't level any further and that you need extra DLC and stuff. It won't stop you from being able to play your character. You'll still be able to play it, but the message just kind of gets annoying. So if you make that a 3 instead of a 6, you won't have that issue. The next things here is the general and specialist skill points. Just leave these at zero or whatever they are. It won't edit anything whatsoever. <clears throat> the next thing we have is customization here. We have uh, the name of your character and the head and the skin. All of this stuff is changeable and it will stick. So we can do like, hi, I'm Creed. And it'll be like that when you go into your game. You can also make your head and your skin whatever you want. And they'll stick over to when you load your character up. Next tab is the currency. Obviously the most money you can have in the game is 99,999,999. The most iridium you can have if you have the Ultimate Vault Hunter um, DLC update is 500 iridium. And you're just going to want to set this to 999 so you actually end up with the max amount. I've had times where I set it to 500 and it doesn't actually stick. You're also going to want to make Seraph Crystals and Torque Tokens 999 as that is actually their max amount. Over here in the Fast Travel tab, 
we are able to fill in all of these boxes. I'm not sure if this still works. I know it worked in the past, but I'm not sure if they patched it so that these don't actually get unlocked with your character. However, I always um, fill these up just for the sake of doing it. I'm kind of OCD like that. <clears throat> and then we have the DLC spots here. And then we have two unknown spots, which I don't even think work, but I just have them again because I'm OCD. Next, we have the backpack and the bank spots, or the, the tabs, rather. And in this, I just have a few items, the Vault Hunter's Relic, which you obviously start with, and then a couple gearbox items. The only thing I'm going to show you how to do here is how to duplicate items in this program and also how to put new items into it. If you want to duplicate an item that's already in your inventory or your bank, then you just right-click the item and choose Copy Code. And as you can see here, I'll go over to the notepad. This is the actual code to that item. You just copy the code that you want and you can just choose paste. And you can just paste as many times as you want. Same thing in the bank. Uh, there's plenty of different YouTube videos of mine and other people's as well as modding sites where people give out codes to multiple items modded and legitimate. And you just copy the code like the one. They all have a code like this. You copy it and then you just choose paste and it'll appear in either your backpack or your bank uh, depending on whichever one you choose. I also have a basic item modding tutorial for you guys already on my channel. I'll have a link to it in the description and an annotation on the screen to it. In the future, I'll also do more advanced modding videos for uh, modding items and guns for you guys. I know a lot of you want that, but uh, for now, I just have the basics and uh, yeah. So over here, we have the raw tab now, and in this raw tab, you can pretty much modify anything else you can think of with your character other than your badass rank and your golden keys as those are not actually uh, connected to the game save that we're editing right now the things that you can edit with the raw tab here are things such as your inventory space your ammo amounts your challenges your missions your skill points such as like on your skill tree and a few other things as well that aren't just uh, just aren't coming to mind at the moment but yeah all this stuff is more manual and it's more complicated than just changing a number here that corresponds with something or just adding an item to your inventory stuff like that it's more complicated than that and it's more manual so I'm not going to show any of that stuff in this video in the future I will do videos on all of those things that I just stated and all the other ones that I can't think of now I'll do individual videos on how to manually mod all of those things I may actually have a couple already on my channel such as for skill points or ammo <clears throat> but yeah aside from that you just have the about tab which you know shows who it was developed by and you know special thanks to people etc etc once you've modified everything that you want to do with your file you're just obviously going to uh, click save here and you're going to just left click on the actual file this is what I like to do you can either save over this file or what I like to do is just left click on it and then make a new folder go into that folder and then click save so then everything is organized you have a new folder with your modified save in it and you still have the original save that is not modified it's more of a backup precautionary sort of thing um, so yeah that's a good idea to, to do but anyway that's pretty much it for all you guys if you have any questions or concerns please be sure to leave a comment below letting me know what it is or you can send me a private message here on YouTube or contact me on Facebook or Twitter that's probably the best way to get a hold of me either through Facebook or Twitter links to both of those will be in the top of the description as usual if you guys enjoyed the video please be sure to give it a like and subscribe to my channel for many more modding tutorials and Borderlands 2 videos to come. Thanks for watching everybody and peace out.